Hey guys, it's your girl Excel77. I am so excited. I was tagged by Sweat to Live. Thank you so much. This is the first time I've ever been tagged. I'm so excited. So yay. I've been tagged. Okay, I'm being goofy. But um the tag is called I was tagged and so are you. The first question is what when you look in the mirror, what do you like about yourself? Well, first I like my smile. I have big thumbs and big smile, but I don't care. I like my smile. I I love my chubby cheeks. Chubby chubby cheeks. I love them. Um, I love I love that I'm starting to love myself more. You know, um, on this weight loss journey, on this weight loss journey, it's also you know it's not just about weight loss. It's a mental you know, it's it's a mental journey as well. You know, because you start getting to the root of when did this happen? How did I let this happen? What was I overcompensating for? So, I when I look in the mirror, I'm I'm loving myself more, and I like I like the person I'm becoming. Let's see. And I like, I, I love my hair. You know, I love my eyes. And I love my eyebrows. And, you know, I love my spirit. And, you know, I'm an imperfect soldier for Christ. So, number two is what do you like to eat? I love Mexican food. Me and Mexican food have had a love affair for as long as I can remember. Oh, I love Mexican food. And when I say I love Mexican food, I mean I can eat it seven days a week, two times a day. I love, 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 love Mexican food. I love it so much that my boyfriend, oh, he'll be like, what's for dinner? And I show again, again, again. It's quick, it's simple, and you can make it healthy instead of you know tortillas instead of the regular tortillas you can get carb light or whole grain and rice is good for you and black beans so i love mixed food and i love that you can eat it and be on a diet at the same time so yay okay number three name one word that best describes you Let's see unique i i am i'm definitely unique um, you know, people may look at me and think one thing, but I'm, I'm a very unique person. You know, I don't, I don't fit into the, the norm. I never have. I'll always march to the beat of my own drum. You know, I, you know, when I was younger, I would say that, you know, I listened to others more, but as I got older, I started listening to the own, to my own drum. So, one word that describes me is unique I'm, I'm unique you know you may think one thing about me but when you get to know me you'll be surprised I'm very unique you know so I come off all you know nice and sweet which I am but I'm also a fighter you know I'm a fighter I fight for what I want and I'm not a quitter that's why when it comes to this weight loss thing failure is not an option I'm willing to take because I made myself a promise. And if you can't keep any promise, you gotta keep promises to yourself. I made myself a promise that we're we're gonna do it this time. And even though I might stumble, even though I might you know, even though I stumble on this journey, get back up. Because like I say, if you can see if you can look up, you can get up. And if you can get up, you can move up. So that's just my that's just my theme. Get up get up get back and get up get back and get up when things start when you're when things start going wrong keep on going you know when things start when, when you're going through hell keep going don't stop and stay and stuck when things start going wrong don't go with them you know I'm reading like I said I'm reading I know this is not part of tag but I felt like sure I'm reading the purpose driven life and you know one day when I was working out, I just realized when you introduce if you want peace peace is possible when you introduce your problems to his promise God made you a promise so give your introduce the problems you have to his 
promise that he made you and you will have peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Because on this weight loss journey, it hurts. Your body hurts. You're going through emotional things. Your hormones are all kind of kooky. And, and you stressed out. And you get frustrated. And you want to quit. But then, you know, you know you can't quit. And you just, all these emotions are running through your body. And, you know, your knees may hurt. And your back might hurt. And you're sweating out your perm. And, but... I was listening to a CD by Bishop T.D. Jakes, and he said something that was very powerful. He said that sometimes correction hurts. But when temporary pain is weighed against a lifetime of discomfort, then it's just pain. It hurts now, but it gets better. You know, and another thing he talked about was how, you know... We're so impatient sometimes, you know, when God says he's going to do something for us and, you know, we, we, we're waiting and we're waiting, it's not happening yet, it's not happening yet, and we get impatient, but we have to realize he waited for us. He waited till we got right. He waited when we were wrong, waited when we were doing wrong, waited till we, when we walked away from him, didn't want to listen to him, tried to do our own thing, listen to our flesh. He waited for us. And he not only waited for us, he protected us while he was waiting for us to grow up, to sit down. So, you know, he, that's, I just have to keep reminding myself, you know, patience. Patience and peace that passes all understanding. Because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. He's not asking us for perfection. He's just asking us for progress. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. So, I know that that was a little tidbit, a little extra than tag, but, you know, I, I felt the need I wanted to say it. So, thank you, Sweat Sweatsalus, so much for tagging me. And I tag everyone, everyone, tag everyone. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.